Welcome, Psych2Goers. You might have clicked on this video with pre-established opinions, and while that's normal and understandable, try to keep an open mind. This video isn't here to sway anyone towards or away from religion, but rather to look at what the research says about religion as it relates to psychology. You might have bristled at the title thinking, we may be too pro-religion or too anti-religion. Rest assured, we love everyone in our community and won't be going into anything that pertains to specific religions. Our staff have a variety of backgrounds and religious views. We aren't going to be calling people out or forcing our subjective perspective onto anything. Think of this video as a lens to examine how we can best benefit from our religion, or lack of religion, from a mental health perspective. We put out a community post that you responded to, and it's those responses, along with the research, that we'll be looking at today to determine the pros and cons of religion. Provides a stable philosophy for life. Pro. The first and most obvious pro for any religious person is that religion provides a stable philosophy for life. What this means is that it offers us a basis to guide our lives around. As some comments pointed out, practicing the religion provides them with a sense of peace. Those who turn to religion as a way to deal with their problems have found that it helps defend against anxiety. Religion can help with coping with the difficulties in life and finding meaning in life's challenges. Importantly, religion doesn't make people less capable of handling their problems. For the majority, religion is not an excuse to avoid their problems or be passive when faced with challenges. For me, personally, I grew up in a Protestant church, spent the last 15-ish years as an agnostic, and am entering into Orthodox Church soon. I deal with depression, anxiety, and Asperger's, with at least symptoms of borderline personality disorder. What I've noticed since returning to church is an increase in meaning in my life. Easier time dealing with anxiety, lessened intensity, easier time dealing with depression, faster recovery from depressive episodes, general ease from existential worry. Results may vary, especially depending on faith and individual church, but you need to actually believe to get any benefits, y'all. Prayer has helped me, like a lot. Jesus has gotten me through some really hard times, especially when no one else was there. I'm a Muslim and I follow Islam. Religion is something so precious for me that I'm unable to explain in words. Whenever I'm going through a tough phase, it provides me immense strength. My prayer provides me peace and Quran heals me. Whenever the words of people hurt me, the words of Allah heals me. When I was not a practicing person, I was hopeless. My company wasn't good, I was falling into depression. But since 2020, when I started practicing religion, I felt my life got sorted the answers of those questions I had about religion or life. I got them all in Quran. Islam has played a very important role in the upliftment of my confidence and personality. It gives me hope and strength to deal with difficult situations. You can say that it's my treasure. In a positive way, I'm practicing Hindu. Also, I believe and embrace Sikhism. I always feel peaceful at a Gurdwara. Satriyakal. Being destructively forced into that philosophy. Khan. Nobody likes to be suppressed. Nobody wants to be told they're evil. A common complaint we saw is that religious people can be judgmental, hateful, and aggressive with their beliefs. Rather than making people want to repent and join the religion, it just pushes them away from it. If they're a part of the religion, there's a lot to lose by being judged and cast out. They lose a lot of the things that would otherwise benefit their mental health as a community. Being excluded, judged, and ostracized can be painful and distressing. For the people who go through it, it can be difficult to trust members of those religions. It took almost everything away from me. I had to build myself up from the ground. I hadn't seen my family members in years. My mother cries herself to sleep and my father stresses himself to death. All over me coming out in a simple, very tame Baptist community. Not even a crazy cult or anything. I see it hurt, ruin, and kill people like me every day. Turning brother against brother, father against child. I'm glad for the good it does to those who cherish it, but there will never be a day that I turn back to the hell that was church. The religion itself isn't bad, but the institution is. Used to inspire. Pro. Religion should teach us how to navigate our lives. If you believe in a God who loves you unconditionally or practice a faith that guides you, that can encourage you and make you feel like you can always improve as a person or handle anything that comes your way. With a religion, you might feel a little less afraid of life. Going back to my Catholic faith in my 20s and living it to the fullest has totally transformed my life. Less depressed, more resiliency, a brighter outlook on life, and purpose that animates my daily living. It helped me develop better friendships and relationships too. If I hadn't read the Bible and realized what is right, I can tell you here right now I would have ended myself long ago. But thank God for keeping me through hard times. 
I feel like God gives me purpose to be the best person I can be. Used to justify bad behavior. Con. This is an extremely common criticism of religion, and it is an understandable one. Each religion is debated by scholars, believers, and institutions. Importance is given more to some aspects than others. The religious texts have become guides on what to criticize about others rather than how to best live your own life. In psychology, we see this reflected to how people react to good and bad behavior. Instead of criticizing people who misinterpret the religion with negative behavior, other members of the religion are more likely to excuse the negative behavior. Both. I used to hold a lot of anger towards religion. Then, as I got older and researched more religions, I found my anger wasn't at the religion or belief itself, but the misguided people who practice their selfish or simple-minded versions of the teachings. It's helped me form a belief that actually feels genuine to me now, as where before I would say it felt kinda lost. I recently halfly left Christianity. I became an agnostic atheist. I started losing faith. I don't really know why. I didn't feel right. And though I respect all religions, I hate it when people use religion as an excuse. For example, an excuse for homophobia. Provides answers and community. Pro. For many, religion holds the answers to some of the most difficult questions. It tells us we're here for a reason. We go on when we die and that we'll always be loved. On top of all of that, people who practice their religion have a community to encourage them. This can be extremely cathartic and diffuse a lot of mental health problems. This is why psychotherapy also accounts for religion and treatment. It offers comfort to our existential concerns. It has made me believe more in hope and peace. I'm a Buddhist. Buddhist philosophy really helped in helping me in every aspect of my life. My parents failed to give me the love I deserve as a child. I always see Buddha as a noble and important figure in my life. Buddhism taught me the way of loving my own self. And a lot more. There is no judgment. Only love and wisdom. Good, I think. I was part of different Christian groups when I was younger because one of my best friends were religious. Never believed myself, but it was nice in a community way. Went later to a private, very Christian boarding school, and that was positive too. I'm gay, but it wasn't an issue. My country is very progressive like that. No to openly bi priests. Only issue with me personally being gay in religion has come from some Muslim friends of mine. Not to say Christians are better. Still no gay or bi people that's been thrown out or beaten by their Christian parents. Religions are probably comforting to many people and giving them meaning and guides. Religious guilt. Con. Usually when we speak about religious guilt, the guilt comes from feeling like we are horrible people. Nowadays, with the way religions are spread, there are differences in how we see our religion and how the leading institutions or other believers represent our religion. In that way, there can be guilt or shame for being associated with the people who, we feel, represent us poorly. Religious people as a whole are not more prone to shame than anyone else. In some ways, being religious can shield you from shame, but guilt is different. Religious people were found to be more prone to guilt. This can spiral into religious OCD where it feels like everything you do is wrong. Fear of punishment can drive a person to live in fear. I have religious OCD, diagnosed by a professional. I like Christianity and Jesus and God, but I just wish I could be normal about it. Instead of picking at my skin and hating myself and living in guilt, although the therapy and medication do help a lot, it's not the sacred texts that promote this in me. Nor have I been abused by the church in any way. Well, maybe mentally, but let's not go into it. It's me taking apart scripture and thinking about damnation instead of the good. Thinking I'm not good enough and that I'm irredeemable and guilty. And policing every wish and every mistake. That's how different people perceive religion is what gets me. I'm a Baptist, but I haven't been to church in a while. Other Christians I know can have drastically different views to me. And some people outside Christianity see us all with a bad rep from how they've experienced it. My first ever girlfriend gave me an ultimatum two weeks into my relationship with her. I'd either have to join her a religious group or we would have to break up, since they don't allow marriage to people outside the faith. Thankfully, I'm much happier now with a girlfriend who values me for me. But late 2022 and early 2023 were so awful for me that I genuinely felt every terrible emotion all at once. I was being gaslit by her into thinking it was my fault for feeling this way as well. I'm so glad to be done with the religion. I'm glad to finally be valued for who I am as a person, not as someone that agrees on an unsubstantiated spiritual claim. Overall, perceptions of religion vary. Your experiences can sway into loving or hating a religion, or all religions. The best thing you can do is decide for yourself. Those who have chosen their religion and adamantly believe in it, reap the benefits from it the most. When religion is most destructive to mental health, it is usually because of overzealous behavior. 
forcing views on others and using the religion to justify hate. So is religion more good than bad for your mental health? That isn't for us to say. Whether religion broke you, saved you, or you just feel conflicted about it, that journey is up to you. Your opinion and beliefs might change, but it couldn't hurt to be aware of the potential mental pitfalls and ladders that can come with religion. Thank you to everyone who commented so respectfully and thoughtfully on the community post. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this.